Taurus takeover and I'm back to do readings for the sign of Scorpios those born in November universal energy show me what I need to see for Scorpios born in the month of November in love finance career Abundance, spirituality, emotions. Show me what I need to see. For Scorpio, born in the month of November. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For Scorpios, born in the month of November, show me, the card for Scorpios, born in November is the Hanged Man. This card signifies a different perspective. Hold on, y'all. This is the hangman in reversed. My first reversed <laughs> card would be for the Scorpio. All right. So normally, if it was upright, it'd be like this. And it would signify that the hangman is just seeing things from a different perspective. It would signify him being rooted and grounded. Seeing things from another view than everybody else is seeing it. But since it is reversed, it's the opposite. So maybe the Scorpio isn't as grounded as he would like to be, as he should be. Maybe you're seeing things from everybody else's point of view and not your own. Let's get some clarity for the hangman. Okay. The thing is, I can read what this reverse hangman says, but it's in reverse. It's in reverse, which means it's going to be the opposite. So let me read to you the, the way it's supposed to go. Um, the hangman, he just had to shift his entire perspective of who he is in relation to the world. Plus, he knows if he wants to have successful relationships, he needs to look at things from the other side. So maybe you ain't looking at things from the other side, Scorpio. Maybe you're looking at it from your own point of view. The side effect is that people call him weird because he doesn't give a shit about the things most folks care about. And he sees every detail of what others overlook. So maybe you're not seeing the details right now. Maybe you're caring a little bit too much about what other people think let's clarify the hangman in reverse for Scorpio born in November let's clarify the hangman reverse for Scorpio born in November what do we need to know about the hangman reverse for Scorpio born in November
clarify the hangman reverse. I'm so this hand is on the fall, born in November. It is clarified with the two of wands. You know, I pulled a card for a Scorpio early this week. And it was the same two of wands. The two of wands signifies having stability, having the world in your hand. But also having another option, another desire. This guy or girl is looking in the past. You got the world in your hand. You got the future that's stable, but still you're looking in the past. There could be a fire sign in your environment. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or you may be taking on the energy of a fire sign. Let me look at these cards more in depth to get a good view because I clarified the hangman and received the two of wands. Scorpio, there's an enlightenment that is within you. And you may have some surprises behind you that you can whip out at any time. You may seem like you're stuck, but you're not. You are more stable than you realize. You have stability in your future. But there's something about the past, whether it's a desire wish a premonition something spiritual from the past that you're holding on to. You got the world in your hands. You got stability. What is it that's got you in reverse? Clarify the two of wands for Scorpio born in November. Clarify the two of wands for the hangman in reverse. For Scorpio in November. Show us what we need to see. Clarifying the two of wands. For the hangman in reverse. Scorpio in November. Let us clarify with the Hermit. The Hermit also symbolizes a, a sort of intuition. This is a numer numerical number, number nine, so it symbolizes an isolation and a long time. But the hermit also trusts his instinct. If you look closely at the card, the hermit isn't even using his eyes. He's using the light, that, but not the light that he can see. He's using his instinct. But again, the hermit 
is going towards the past. He's using his instincts from the past. The two of wands is something about the past. All these cards are uh, with the person by themselves, some type of isolation, a long time. In search of what, Scorpio? What are you in search of? What are you seeking? Only you know that. Are you stuck mentally, emotionally, spiritually? Spiritually is what I'm getting. There's a spiritual essence to this more than the emotional part. There's a light radiating from you, in front of you, whether you see it or not, is there. What is the advice for Scorpios born in the month of November? Show us advice for Scorpios born in the month of November. Give us some advice for Scorpios born in November. The vice is the seven of wands. Another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Is there a fire sign in your environment or are you taking on the fire energy? Again, another spiritual card. Let's get some clarification. Seven of wands. Okay. All right, we see uh, the seven of wands. We see a man with a single one of the spirit fighting off six other ones that come up from below. Could these six ones he fights represents the victory from the six of wands? How can a spiritual victory so quickly turn into a spiritual test? His feet straddle the ground as he maintains his balance over the water. If water equals emotions, he's trying his best to fight off the spiritual urges that threaten to topple him into his feelings. Now this is one of those cards where I need to pull two more cards to get the full reading for this. Uh, I'm actually going to pull a Leo card, another fire. Um, so I need to pull the tower and I need to pull the Leo to get clarification for this seven of wands for your advice. What is it? Tower and strength. Tower and strength. There's strength. Yeah, okay. Tower. There's a 
towel. It's all the towel and strong. Okay, so basically how it works, you guys. These two cards gives off the energy for these two cards. So I have to break each card down basically to get the uh, the full meaning of this card. So that's what I'm going to do. So the tower is about change. It's about falling. <laughs> It definitely goes deeper than that, but I'm just going to give you the basics. Uh, strength. It's about enlightenment. It's about spiritual powers. It's about uh, doing things that other people may be afraid of. It could also be about taming uh, animalistic desires or lust or passions, things like that. Again, there's something strong in your spiritual uh, house that's going on because uh, it's a lot of spirit cards coming up here for you. All right, so give me a moment. Let me put all these together and uh, read this advice for you. There may have been some changes in your life. You may have even felt like you've fallen off, so to speak. But you are very enlightened. You have spiritual power, spiritual abundance. To face things that other people may be scared of to face things that people just don't want to do you have the strength to do that which is why you can fight off uh, spirits of lust you can fight off uh, different spirits that just doesn't mean you any good There may be things coming at you, different types of spirits. But you have it in your power to balance yourself, to fight them off. You may be defensive of other spirits that may be trying to come into your environment you may not be in attack mode you may just be in defense mode clarify the seven of wands for Scorpio born in November clarify the advice for the seven of wands for Scorpio born in November universal energies Heroes clarification for advice for Scorpio born in November for the Seven of Wands. It is clarified with the lovers. Gemini. This is Gemini's card. Is there a Gemini in your environment? Are you taking on that energy? The lovers card is about balance. The lover's card is about having something divine 
orchestrating over you. So there's no need to worry. You can just breathe life in and know that everything is going to be okay. So maybe there's something that you're trying to fight off. Or be in defense about. But there's a divine orchestration. Uh, the saying what they say, everything happens for a reason. So no matter what's happening, it's going to work out for your good. Let's see here. It's a Gemini card, air card. This represents thoughts and speech. These people, they ain't talking. They just taking it all in. Embracing what is. Do you need to embrace the spirit within, Scorpio? Is there something you're trying to fight off within you? type of animalistic passion lust something that everyone else may be scared of but you you you're you, you're fighting it, it off when really you should be embracing it oh scorpio yeah you're gonna make me work tonight Clarify the lovers <laughs> for Scorpio's advice born in November. Oh, I just did cancels born in July. They made me work and look like y'all making me work too. Clarify the lovers advice for Scorpio born in November. Clarifying the seven of ones. Clarify the lovers. Scorpio was born in November. Show us what we need to see for advice for Scorpio. It is the Eight of Swords. It's another air sign card. Is there an air sign in your environment? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This card. This person seems bound. And it's interesting because the hangman reversed also seems bound but in reality they're not completely bound he only has one foot bound and we can't even see behind his back he may or may not be bound she's bound but her mouth is not bound her ear is not bound her feet are not bound she's not completely bound Do you need to use your voice, Scorpio, to get out of the mess you're in? Use your voice, use your speech and your thought to manifest freedom, the true freedom that you desire. 
Because all these swords behind her could represent so much thought going on in the head. But she can't see it. She can't even see the sword in front of her. But she's not bound. She's standing on water and earth, emotions, situations. But can you use your mouth to get you out of this? Is it something you need to say to bring you to that true freedom that you desire? Let me look at all these cards together. Scorpios, you may feel like life is not what, like you want it to be. You may feel like all hell and broke loose and you may feel like you don't feel off. But you ain't dumb. You smart. You enlightened. Spiritually. You can do things that other people can't do. If you put your mind to it. But it's something you're trying to fight off. Spiritually. But you need to embrace it. Knowing that it's coming. From and for divine order. Maybe you need to speak up for change to happen in your life. But you're not bound. You're not stuck. That's just a consciousness. That's just a feeling. But this isn't about emotion. This is about speech, thought, and spirituality. That is what is coming up in this reading. Maybe you need to search yourself. Spend some alone time. And if you do spend it contemplating on the past, use it as strength to move forward. Because you got stability in your future. You got the world in your hands. And you holding on to a desire. That's attainable. Maybe you need to use your voice. Call out. Listen closely. Because there is a way out. Use your intuition. Use your enlightenment. Use your spiritual powers. To do things that other people are scared to do. To tame lustful desires. Because there's some spirits out there now. But that don't mean they all for your good. You may be on the defense. Or you may be protecting your own spirit man. So whether you're on the defense or the offense, you're still protecting that spirit man. You have to.
because there's a, there's a divine connection going on here. This card, this card tripped me out. I look at it sometimes when I'm trying to, you know, just meditate on the cards. And this, this one here, is, she just breathing it all in. She ain't watching. She don't care. It's a snake on the tree behind her, but she ain't worried. She just absorbing life, breathing it all in. But he is breathing her all in. He looking at her. She looking up. Out and he looking at her. Left represent the past. We ain't gonna go there. The past, your past. We got three cards talking about looking in the past here. But maybe it's meant to be divine connection. This one has no words. And just absorbing it all. This one don't look like he got no words either, but he's not absorbing it all. I mean, he absorbing it all. He looking at her. He absorbing all of her. That's what he looking at. You got two cards here with two. These two falling off. These two absorbing it all. Either way, they're doing it together. So is it somebody you need to call out to for help? I don't know. Scorpio. Y'all got to let me know if this resonates with y'all. Like, subscribe, share. Any Scorpios you know born in the month of November, y'all make sure y'all share this with them. Maybe they need to hear this. You never know who needs confirmation or advice for their life right now. Um, yeah. So, Scorpio, this has been your reading. Use your spirituality. Use your enlightenment. Know that it's all going to work out for the good. And maybe you got to speak up to get the help you need to get out of the funk that you're in. Because it's all mental. You're not stuck. You're not bound. And even if you have fallen off, 